Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna talk all things Givenchy. Why do I sound like such a fool when I say that? Givenchy. Like literally, can I get that right? Let's try it. It's not Givenchy, which I, oh my gosh, I've called it Givenchy on my channel. Do you ever say a brand name kind of like you whisper it because you're kind of insecure about how to say it like to whoever's working in the store or you're like, oh, like I have imposter syndrome about buying Givenchy makeup. Spent a lot of money, so we're gonna talk about it all. I have a lot of strong opinions as I normally do and I love two items so freaking much that it just piqued my curiosity. So I bought everything that Givenchy makes so that you don't have to. I'm gonna give you the full rundown. Here's your scoop. The foundation, we're gonna start there because they surprisingly do not have a primer. What the heck? Where did their primers go? Imagine a silky, blurring, buttery, hydrating, but line smoothing, gripping, gorgeous prism Libre primer. We would probably all spend 50 bucks on it. They do have a bronzer with like exploding bronzer droplets, which I was really excited about. And then I started reading the reviews and it's like, this is the worst product I have ever tried. And I'm like, well, eh. We're, we're out of there real quick. They don't sell it at Sephora, so we're focusing on Sephora. We are going to start with foundation. I have two of them. I recently raved about this one right here. This is the Prism Libre Skin Carrying Glow. I have the shade N250. Gorgeous foundation, water-based. It has skin carrying ingredients in here. It is beautiful, glides on the skin. You can use this over any underpainting that you might wanna do, or if you just want something that is kind of medium-ish coverage, natural radiant finish. It's just a beautiful, beautiful finish. I love this. However, I am more of a matte kind of a finish, natural to matte finish, especially with the humidity here in Texas. This will just slip and slide off of me with how humid it has been recently. I literally walked outside the other day with my glasses on and they fogged up. And I'm like, wow, this is a problem. Oh my gosh. And like my skin's all like, ugh, like slimy. And like, you guys are like, oh my gosh, you're glowing. You're glowing, Tati. Tell us, tell us your secrets. And I'm like, it's sweat. It is humidity and sweat. There Here's your secret. But really, it's like the weather has turned kind of crazy. In my opinion, I'm not quite used to it yet. So a mattifying product is what I need in the summertime for my face, which kind of feels counterintuitive because everyone's like glow, glow, glow. But like, I'm gonna glow no matter what I'm gonna glow. You know what I'm saying? So long story short, I am wearing this today and it applied beautifully. I would say this is definitely more coverage than the Radiant Finish. <laughs> I'm having a flashback of when I bought my very first um, fancy purse. <laughs> a lot of you guys will not remember this, but uh, there was Dooney and Burke, like the DB that kind of looked like the Louis Vuitton at the time that was colorful. And I saved up some cash and I was so excited to buy that bag. I thought it was so hot and I was so cool. And I went to Nordstrom and I asked the employee, for the Downey and Bork. And I was convinced that that was the name. It haunts me. Givenchy, um, it haunts me. It's one of my things. Ah, I lay in bed at night and I'm like, why? We have Cupacine Extract, which provides an antioxidant benefit and radiance. I do have to say this is a more radiant leaning matte and I like that. This is a 24 hour oil absorbing finish. It has pink clay in here. You have vitamins B2, B3, and C. This is a skin carrying formula, 52 bucks, 35 shades. I really like it. It's waterproof, medium coverage, but I did find that you could build it quite nicely. And then I went and ruined everything with a ton of highlighter. We'll get to that. But I do really love their foundations. I don't think they're talked about enough. If you're under 30, you do not need all the skincare and all the, eh, like I just really think you don't need to splurge 52 bucks. But if you're someone that struggles with creasing on the forehead, crinkling on the forehead, you want skin 
skincare ingredients in the foundation, you want the experience of something really high end and beautiful and luxury, then I would say these are amazing, but they're not necessary. We can, we can get everything done at the drugstore. We really can. I want to always say that when I'm doing these more luxury videos, because I know not everyone can afford this, but isn't it interesting to take a look at it? Okay. So we'll just stay here for a moment. Can they get this in a pressed version though? Could they please? This powder is ridiculous. If you were saving up for one item to splurge and you're like, I want one powerhouse product that is luxury, this powder literally vanishes your pores. I don't even know how it does it. I like goofed up with my highlighter because I was trying to do high blush. I hear you guys in my head, like especially now that I'm posting more on IG and I did start posting over on TikTok and everyone's like, do high blush, do high blush. And I'm like, I don't know. Um, but I started trying to play around with it because I feel like I have this like weird dip here that high blush kind of accentuates that I don't like, but you guys are very encouraging. Anyway, I took my physician's formula highlighter that never does me wrong, but I went literally on top of the blush, like not even thinking. And I'm like doing this business and I'm like, oh my gosh, why are you doing that? So with the high blush, I got to reposition the highlight because then it started looking kind of gray. Anyway, I was able to take a powder puff and this insane, beautiful powder and literally go on top of it and it like erase every imperfection, every like gray muddiness. I don't know what they did to get this formula so right, but they did that. It comes in four shades. It is expensive. I want to say it's like $40. They do have a travel size now. If you are wondering, you're like, I can't commit all the way. The smaller size is $29.50. This is $59. I'm like staring you down. Can someone at the drugstore please make a good pink powder? This is $59, but everything beyond even the tone is just like the silkiness, how it gets rid of oil, but leaves you not dry and crackly. It doesn't accentuate any lines or pores. It's just one of the best, especially for baking. I love it. Okay, let's get to some things that I'm like, ah. oh, you know what? I do love this too. This is a $37 concealer. It does have a beautiful radiant finish. It is on the hydrating side. It's a medium coverage. You do have 95% natural origin ingredients. I don't really know what that means, but it sounds great. Plant-based glycerin, you have that Kepacin extract to add radiance and enhance natural glow of complexion. You also get cornflower complex. That doesn't sound so sexy, but it decongests and soothes the skin. This says it's water resistant, very long wearing. It will leave you hydrated, which I think that is very true. That's actually the first thing I noticed is like, gosh, this kind of feels really juicy, like an eye cream. It's sinking in really beautifully. Is it giving as much coverage as the Natasha Denona? No. Do I prefer this one by Natasha Denona, the new high glam? Yes. Whatever she did with that formula, she did everything right. That is my new, like the bar standard. If you are looking for radiant, juicy, realistic skin, this is gonna be it. If you want a little more coverage, like me, where you look in the mirror and you're like, I don't wanna see dark circles, the Natasha Denona is better, but this is beautiful. I'll be wearing it on days when I just wanna look like I have great skin and no makeup on. So there is, a use for this one. It is really, really beautiful. I tried to get the color corrector. They were sold out. They had the green one, which I have never done well with green color corrector. I don't have a lot of redness in my skin to correct anyway, maybe around the nostrils, but it can end up looking really strange really quickly. So I wanted the peach one, didn't get it. Now that I know the formula and I enjoy it, I might grab that because it is a really juicy, pretty formula. We raved, we loved, and now we're gonna talk a little bit of smack. The mascara, I feel like I have tried this maybe five years ago. Perhaps they have reformulated. I actually do not even know, but it had been such a long time that I was like, you know what? I wanna revisit this, we're buying it. I love the packaging. I really like the brush. However, this got my lashes sticking together and I was layering and layering and layering. And my inner monologue at the time was just like, Lash Paradise is better and is $10. And so is Neutrogena. And like, so like I was going through the drugstore list. It's just not worth the price tag. And also, wow, 
Oh, we are at Victorian tea time, powder rose sensation. It is just not for me. As we get to the lips, I'm going to discuss further how I have been painstakingly making it through this video while literally going, ugh, ugh, Mm, Cause I just should have known better, but I will try makeup to review it. Like I'm in it. Uh, and sometimes I like formulas enough to get past it. But right now I feel like I'm tasting a baby doll head, like that plastic baby doll head. That's a terrible description, but it, uh, it's just like, why make it taste like food or nothing? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we're gonna get into the lips. I do wanna talk about the liner really quick. I struggled. I think it was a me problem and not the liner. I do prefer a little more firmness in a liner tip with felt tip liner. However, I was able to go back through and correct and I was able to get a really rich black line. This is very intense black, like pitch, pitch, pitch black. And it is good. Do you need it? No. We can go Maybelline. We can go CoverGirl. You don't need this. So I'm going to say these two, in my opinion, are out. The liner, I was able to get it to look okay, but it's not great. This is great. This is great. Spend your money on the products that are so special. That's what we're about. That's why we're here. Okay, we're going to go back into something so special that I want every color. These lip liners are perfect. They have the perfect creaminess. They have the perfect firmness. You know, sometimes when you use a MAC lip liner, you have to press so hard because there's just not enough creaminess. It's a little bit too firm. These, oh my gosh, like stop it. This is the perfect overlining color too. This is the shade 9 Mocha. M-O-K-A, feels fancy. Um, this is made in the Czech Republic. This is the shade beige number 10. Also phenomenal, just beautiful. I really love a sharpen pencil. People have a strong preference here, but I love to drag it in and kind of overline right on that edge. And if you don't have a perfectly sharpened tip, good luck. You know, that's kind of some videos where you see, like I'll see the footage after and I'm like, oh my gosh, get it in the line a little better, or like match it up a little better. But it's because the tip can get all bald and like mushy and do not underestimate taking the moment to sharpen your pencils, whether it's for your eyes or your lips, makes a difference. Okay, these glosses are so beautiful to look at. If you're in Sephora, go look at them. They're beautiful. It's like, what the, and it's glass. Like everything about it's so fancy. There are six shades. I have three of them. They all have a pH color changing component to it. So they do turn a little more pinky. And I really like the nude one. I like the pink one. I don't like this one, number 11. It just got patchy and it just didn't look luxury. It just looked a little weird on me. I was hoping it would be kind of like, you know, that frog prince lipstick queen situation. It just didn't, it didn't look good. Um, but these two really looked beautiful. The taste to me is annoying and it is lingering and it's in my mouth and I don't know how I feel about it. But if you like rose scented things, this formula is beautiful. The whole package situation, I mean, come on. The swirly, whirly, the glass, the lid right here. And then the applicator even is just like so fluffy and uh, I'm going to do it. I know I'm like complaining about the taste, but like, oh, it's very, very beautiful. The formula is great. Um, also, it's so funny that I'm doing this video where I have more lip products and like I tried everything on and currently I am in so much pain in my mouth. I was chewing gum a little too aggressively. I don't even know why. And I literally almost bit through my lip. I kid you not. Like I am in, I'm in pain. Can you see it? Oh gosh. If my lips look swollen, oh, maybe people are gonna be like, I knew it. She went and did it. She got her filler. You guys, I will tell you, I have no plans, but it's funny. One of the videos where I tested a bunch of Givenchy, I had just gotten my lips done and I was kind of revisiting, like what have I tried from the brand? And I looked at that video and I'm like, dang, you literally came straight from the med spa. 
whapped on a bunch of lip gloss and my lips are like pink glossy and just huge. And it's so strange to see myself like that now. That was a good video though. I tried all this luxury makeup and I do have to say the other thing that I used to love so much from Givenchy is their... Do I have it over there? I saved it because I just love it so much. I don't know, I can't part with it. But they had this tinted moisturizer number that was just so good. Their eyeshadows are great. They don't sell at Sephora and I didn't see it on Nordstrom or anywhere else, but they had a good powder blush too that I really liked. Um, okay, back to earth. Let's talk about something fantastic. Rose Perfecto is gorgeous. This somehow has like a different, I was gonna say taste, like you're actually tasting it, but you can kind of taste it. This has a different scent. It's like a little bit sweeter. I love the packaging. This feels so chic and so high-end and so unique. And the formula on here is just balmy, cushy. It's a 24-hour hydration, beautiful, nourishing ingredients. I really do love this. They have a bunch of different shades. And of course, I would go with like the everyday nude because that's just what I feel I look good in. I do want to mention they have these velvety matte situations. It's the La Rouge Sheer Velvet. I got the shade 27. I don't like this. I feel like it just looks too blurry. Like you just didn't finish your makeup. It could just be my lip shape, but I just was not a fan of this formula. I thought it would be a little more true velvet finish, but it just, there's something about the texture. It almost feels like a poor blurring primer, if that makes sense, in a lipstick bullet. It's a really weird texture finish. I couldn't get it to look good. I'm not a fan of this one. I am a fan of this. This lipstick is very beautiful. The color's gorgeous. This is the Intense Silk in 109. This is their new display in Sephora. You get so much color and so much hydration and shine, but it's not gloppy, goopy, melty. It's definitely different than your balmy kind of finish from this one. This has hyaluronic acid, pearl oil, silk powder. It is a silky matte. That kind of makes my brain go like this. Cause I'm like, is it though? Are we gonna consider this a silky matte? I guess so. I guess I kind of get it. It feels really nourishing and cushy on the lips. You get a ton of saturation of color. It's not gonna move really easily, but it does kick off a tiny bit of that hydration shine thing. It's not a full cream. It's not a glossy finish, but it's not a dry velvet matte either. It's kind of somewhere in the middle. You can probably find a similar color at the drugstore, but if you want the whole presentation, the whole experience, I do say, this one is really nice. And if I wore different colors than pinks and nudes, I would probably want to try the deeper shades from this particular formula just because of how it sits on the lip. I do not wear red lipstick that often, so I didn't spring for that. But I would say if you're someone that likes reds, they have some beautiful reds. I do also want to say that this is this not worth it. This is their brow groom, the Mr. Brow Groom. What are we doing here? Why are we spending the money on this? It's literally gel with a spoolie. I'm not wasting time on this. I bought it just because I wanted to grab everything that I could to do this video, but I'm still super, super hooked on my Ardell brow glue. You will not take this out of my hand. I love it so much and it's, under 10 bucks. There we have it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this one brand look. If you want me to do this with another brand, please let me know by thumbsing this video up. Am I missing anything else? No, I am not. I, I can hear you guys in my head though, and you wanna know what is the glitter on my eyes. It is from Gwen Stefani's line, which actually might be fun to do a look at her line as well. I'm not on her PR. I bought this myself. I've been talking about it a lot. And I put this on in a reel over on IG and I've just been wearing this every single day. It's the easiest thing. I am obsessed with it. I love it. Um, most everything else is Givenchy. I will list everything in the description box below. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thumbs up the video if you liked it, share it, leave me comments. And other than that, go and have a good one. I am sending you so much love and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.